everyone. I thought I'd share with you this little tiny book, which is very full. Um, it was inspired by one I saw on a Tim Holtz video. So the front cover is very similar to the one on the video, but inside it's um, completely different. So it has a little tassel of these beautiful things that I've had for years. And I thought, oh, that goes well on that. I've sewn that on. I've also put this lace on it because it, it hangs up in my room. So that's on with little little clips. I'll just unclip one of them. And then the top of the pages, I've done these little tabs with flowers and all sorts of pretty things on them. And I love, love, love doing this. And then that's the back cover. This is all raised. So this is raised, all well, this is raised. A lot of Tim Holtz things in it. The stars, oh that wasn't. This is uh, from his latest collections. And then the back of all the pages here is Finnebear's um, tissue that I've cut out in sections. Um, what I did, I, I wanted it to be uh, like stiff even though it's a little, it's actually a little cloth book. You see the cloth there. Um, so what I did was I um, did all the pages with gesso first so that I wouldn't, oh, I can get it undone, um, so I wouldn't lose all the glue by it soaking into the, into the pages. So on the front we've got a little uh, bling. These are from Tim Holtz Snippets. A little bit of crocheted stuff, a little one of his dials there. I've sewn everything around and this little teeny tiny clip that actually works. <laughs> and this is from the snippets and this is just a bit of lace. And then I've held, it, ha it actually is a tie this book but it's canvas so what I did was I wanted the lace so I've glued it but I've also put these little brads on it to um, and then I covered up the other side with a bit of ribbon. So this is the first page. It's got a lovely lady down there. Some, this trim I actually got in Paris years ago. And then at the bottom of it, I've got lots of lace and oh, I can't really see it. It's not a very bright day here today. Um, this side I've used a tiny little paper clip with this was sort of swinging around and not and disappearing and because this is raised so I glued it down and over this side we have one of those tiny little clips again a little bit of bling layered with velvet underneath flowers underneath and lace that's on the tag, but I thought it went quite well with her because it's got this same coloured ribbon. And you can see I've sewn, sewn around after I glued the... Um, no, I did it before. I sewed it around with a zigzag because it says that it is sewn around and it won't fray, but it actually does. <laughs> so I did it again with the zigzag. And then in here, we have one of the tags with the topping on it. Beautiful lady. I really enjoyed this. I went to town on all the trimmings and things. And then this page. I actually did this page once and didn't like it and that's why this big circle is is stuck on it this is antique lace a little cross in the corner a little bit of bling there um, and it, again it's all layered and some corners which have gone over with wax and the little lace trim at the bottom and then this side she's got a bit of a old earring 
little bit of bling. Mm. Yeah. And then at the back, there's a cut out of a clock face, which I've gone over with. It's in black, but I've gone over it with gold. And then another little key hanging down on one of those uh, pins. But again, it was swinging around, so I glued it. My things in my book have to do as they're told. <laughs> see, see this one? I haven't glued it. And it's sort of, if, if you try, it might stick in that. So I might glue that one as well. This one's got some and these are antique pieces of lace that I've cut and then some more lace trimmed down here with burgundy in it. This is washi tape, two lots of washi tape so one is gold, plain, and then this lacy one I put over the top of it. A little tiny flower there with a bit of bling in the side. This is Tim Holtz stuff as well. And here's some dangles from, from the um, tag. So I'll just take the tag out. There's another beautiful lady. Pretty things on the top of the tag. Little tiny bit of the trim. So some of the pages in, in the book are smaller than the other ones. So all I did was I just sewed two pages together to make the pocket. And then this shows nicely. Bit of his latest stuff. This I found in, in my cupboard. It's like a, a, a film, but it's acetate. You can see it flashing. And then this is a metal frame. I think again it's Tim Holtz, and these are Tim Holtz as well. And then on the back here, I've made some beautiful lace pockets. Another one of those little dingle dangles on there, and some. What I did was, instead of gluing these, I've sewn them on, these little metal butterflies. And in the pockets, have the little... And then this was some cutouts on my machine. You can see the, the tissue paper there. And then on this side, Lovely lady again. And then because the tags, oh, you're supposed to be over a bit. They're supposed to line up. Just move that one over. <laughs> um, because there were two like that and I wanted this, you know me, I have to have them like matching. So that's just stuck on the, pa the page itself because there wasn't a tag going in there. So there we are. Hope you like that beautiful little thing. I love it. <laughs> Bye.